folks. Since most of Canada and northern United States are in the grips of major snowfalls, I figured that would be a great time to talk about a hot ground system as a first topic. Hot ground systems I suggest for anyone who wants to have a shock uh, during the winter uh, if they have heavy snowfall. Uh, anywhere where there's dry, sandy, or shallow soil. This system will help give an extra layer of protection during those times when the ground system isn't working properly. The way you set up a hot ground system is you start off like any normal fence. So I have my small demo fence here with a three wire system. On a typical fence, you would attach all three wires together, but on a hot ground system, you're going to have on this particular model, a hot, ground, and hot. The way this works is, not only will an animal get a shock during normal conditions when they touch one wire and the ground, but if you don't have a ground system working and a horse or a cow or something wants to lean against the fence, and they touch both of these wires, they will also get that shock. The way you set this up is, you attach your energizer, the power to the top wire, connect top and bottom together, and then with your middle one, you attach it directly to the ground rods and then the ground rod to the energizer. The reason why we attach it to the ground rod and not directly to the energizer, at least what I recommend to my clients, is that if it is all attached up here, your entire system is floating. That means if there's any shorts, if there's any uh, electrical surges, if there's any lightning that hits your fence, everything has to go back to the box to get discharged. And you don't want that to happen. You want to have that extra layer of protection. On top of that, when the conditions are normal, let's say in spring and summer, you still want to have that typical just touching one wire so that when they're testing it, they don't have to lean up against the fence and cause damage. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below. Every day.